Fertilization or fusion of gametes is the most vital event in the process of sexual reproduction as it results in new life. In humans, while the male gamete or sperm is motile, the female gamete or ovum is non-motile. Therefore, for fertilization to occur, the two gametes must be brought together. This is achieved through insemination where the penis releases semen filled with thousands of sperms into the vagina. Interestingly, while half of the total sperms released carry the X chromosome, the other half contain the Y chromosome. These sperms then rapidly move through the cervix, pass through the uterus, and finally reach the ampullary isthmic junction of the fallopian tube. In the meantime, the ovum, after completing the first meiotic division, gets released into the fallopian tube with the rupture of the graphian follicle. Upon its release, the ovum begins to undergo the second meiotic division. However, the division does not go beyond the first phase. Interestingly, the ovum contains only the X chromosome. Studies have shown that the ovum is filled with cytoplasm called the yolk or vitellus, surrounded by a membrane called the vitaline membrane. The vitaline membrane is ensconced in another membrane called zona pellucida. However, there is some space between the zona pellucida and the vitaline membrane, which is called the perivitaline space. Surrounding the zona pellucida is a layer of granulosa cells called the cells of corona radiata. The ovum present in the fallopian tube now starts drifting towards the uterus. Once it reaches the ampullary isthmic junction, the ovum gets bombarded by several thousand sperms. However, only one sperm penetrates the zona pellucida and initiates the fertilization process. Moreover, this penetrating sperm induces the zona pellucida to stiffen, which prevents other sperms from entering the ovum. After gaining entry through the zona pellucida, the acrosome present over the sperm's nucleus starts secreting enzymes that aids the sperm head to get through the ovum's cytoplasm while the sperm sheds its tail. The fertilized egg now resumes the remaining phases of the second meiotic division. However, this division being unequal results in the formation of two unequal bodies, a haploid ovum called uted and a second polar body. While the second polar body degenerates, the uted and the haploid nucleus of the sperm fuse together to form a diploid zygote. Did you know that the sex of the zygote is decided at the time of fertilization? If the ovum is fertilized by a sperm containing the X chromosome, the resulting zygote contains XX chromosome and would develop into a female. However, if a sperm containing the Y chromosome fertilizes the ovum, the resultant XY zygote develops into a male. Thus, it is the sperm that decides the sex of the fetus. A little more than a day after its formation, the zygote starts moving down the fallopian tube. Simultaneously, the zygote also undergoes mitotic division and with each successive division, the number of daughter cells doubles. This division is termed as cleavage, while the resultant daughter cells are called blastomeres. About three days after fertilization, the zygote contains nearly 8 to 16 cells and is called a morula. Over a period of two days, the morula descends down into the uterus and transforms itself into a blastocyst a hollow ball composed of about 100 blastomeres, which are arranged in two layers.
the outer layer, called the trophoblast, eventually gives rise to the placenta, while the inner layer, consisting of a group of cells called the inner cell mass, eventually differentiates to form the embryo. Interestingly, at the blastocyst stage, the zygote, now called the embryo, gets attached to the uterus as the trophoblast grows outwards and penetrates the endometrial lining of the uterus. In response, the endometrial cells divide and start surrounding the blastocyst. This causes the blastocyst to sink and to get implanted into the uterus. Once implantation has occurred, pregnancy gets initiated. Moreover, after implantation, inner cell mass cells get differentiated and begin to form the embryo. Embryo formation is thus a complex process that begins with fertilization and ends with implantation of the embryo.